Hi there, Shauna Lynn Simon here. Uh, I am here to answer a question for the Ask the Expert series through Risa. So here is our question. Does anyone have a script for what they say when they are calling a realtor whose client has reached out to them for staging? I quoted staging to a client last week. The house would totally benefit from staging, higher end neighborhood, but house is dated. The client just emailed asking if I talked to their realtor about relisting with the staged pictures. Number one, I want to be on the same page as the realtor and come off as positive. Number two, how do I discuss staging and strategy with a realtor who didn't refer me first? So this is a fantastic question. Uh, this is a great opportunity to introduce yourself to a new agent and show them exactly what you can do. So now here's a few things to keep in mind. Just because the real estate agent didn't call you in and the client called you in specifically does not mean that the real estate agent is against staging. Maybe they're simply not aware of it. Maybe they don't have someone that they're working with that they trust to recommend staging on a regular basis. So keep an open mind in terms of that, first of all. So don't get yourself too scared that just because the homeowner called you that the agent isn't on board. Uh, perhaps the, um, the homeowner wanted to take things to the next level and the agent is thinking maybe it's more of an as-is type house. I understand what you're saying, yes, it can benefit from staging, but maybe he just had a different marketing strategy in mind. Not because he doesn't believe in home staging, but because he felt that it was going to be best marketed towards investors. Who knows? So the point is give the real estate agent the benefit of the doubt that perhaps they do already believe in what you're doing. But you are right. When you stage a listing after it's already been listed, the best thing that agent can do is update those photos on the MLS listing so that people who check out that listing from here on out get an accurate vision of what the house actually looks like in the state of the house as it is after you've staged it. So this is something that uh, isn't necessarily a stager's responsibility to talk to the real estate agent about. It's not to say that you can't. However, this is something that generally the way that I handle this is I actually encourage the homeowner to get in touch directly with the real estate agent and ask them to have the photos retaken and posted up. And if you as a stager offer photography as a part of your package, even better, because then you can actually supply the photos and the homeowner just has to tell the real estate agent, hey, I've got these great new photos. Can we please list these up? Now, if you do want to reach out to the real estate agent, you want to be careful with this because as much as you are an expert when it comes to home staging, he's also an expert in his field, or at the very least he considers himself, or she considers themselves, sorry for being gender specific there. Uh, the real estate agent considers himself an expert, uh, which you know is, is quite true as well. We don't do their job and they don't do ours. So we don't want to come across as telling them how to do their job. So if you are approaching the real estate agent, a couple ways you can do it, but for starters, I would introduce myself as the home stager that's working with your client at you know one two three Main Street, uh, you know, listen, I just wanted to reach out to you to introduce myself to you because I believe in being a part of a team when we're working to sell a house, and I just wanted to make myself available to you if you have any questions about anything that I'm working on with your client. Oh, and hey, let me give you a little bit of an idea as to what our game plan is, and get a bit of a conversation going. You might find the real estate agent is quite receptive to all of your ideas and saying, "Wow, you know what?" That's a great idea. I can see how that can really benefit the house. The homeowner is going to do that. That's awesome. Thank you so much. When do you think you're going to have this completed by? You know, so if you've got an engaged real estate agent, there's going to be an opening in there to say, you know what would be fantastic? And I know this is an additional expense to you. So how you want to handle it is definitely up to you. Uh, but as you know, home staging is a marketing tool. And the best way to utilize this tool is to ensure that we're really showing it to the mass audiences. Since most people obviously check out the photos online before purchasing or before even visiting the house, you know, it'd be great if we could get those photos updated with some staged photos. So if you can put something like that together for him, you know, and kind of lay it all out and say like, listen, here's a great idea, but make sure that it's not stepping on his toes and saying, hey, you know what you should do? <laughs> because as soon as someone says to me, you know what you should do, um, I want to tell them, well, what you should do is probably worry about your own job and let me do mine. Uh, not that that's something I would actually say, but the point is that you want to treat them how you would like to be treated. So how do you want to be treated as, as the expert that you are? So show them that you're the expert. Show them that you're on the same page with them and show them that you want to prevent, 
present a united united front and really help the homeowner to maximize the sale. Another thing to consider is perhaps uh, your own marketing strategy. When you're talking to this real estate agent, what are some things that you do to advertise your current listed properties? So maybe you post them up on social media, maybe you write a small blog about them, but if there's anything that you do that's a little extra special about how you market your properties, maybe mention it to the real estate agent and let them know that you're going to give them some extra exposure as well. You know, and you're going to be showcasing those brand new photos up on your social media pages. Uh, you know, so that's another way to approach it with the real estate agent as well is showing what you're going to help with in terms of the marketing, giving him or her that extra exposure as well. Say, listen, like I'm going to promote you and say, hey, I staged this listing for such and such realtor at, you know, whatever the address is. And uh, I'm going to send some traffic your way as well. They'll absolutely love that. If you're unsure about how to sell services to a real estate agent in general, that is something that definitely like creating a bit of a script for yourself. So you kind of have some of your value points would really be useful. You know, talking about some of the benefits of home staging, uh, how you've helped previous homeowners, how your processes work, uh, you know, and, and how it's a great marketing tool for them to use. Um, another thing to consider too is that this real estate agent might have used staging in the past. So this might not be their first time, first introduction to it, and that could be good or bad. They could have had a fantastic experience with staging and just didn't consider it for this house. They could have had a horrible experience with staging. So it's always a good idea to ask the question, hey, have you worked with a home stager before? Are you currently working with a home stager? Make sure they know that you're not necessarily trying to do a hard sell on your services, but more about being a part of the team you want to uh, offer your assistance any way that you can on this particular project. Don't worry too much about selling additional projects on this phone call. You want to sell them on this project, show them how awesome you are, and they will automatically want to call you for the next project. Um, but getting a real estate agent on board with home staging is all about showcasing the value. And the best way to do this is through statistics, case studies, and just showing your work in general. So leave a great impression on them and I'm sure you'll get them on board. Uh, if they are showing any resistance to updating the photos, again, don't press it. That's actually a conversation that the homeowner should have with the real estate agent. And I would simply advise the homeowner to talk to the real estate agent. Be very careful with the homeowner, of course, that you are not throwing that real estate agent under the bus. You want to make sure that you're showing respect to them and the job that they're doing and not saying, you know, your real estate agent should be doing this and your real estate agent should be doing that. The same way that we as stagers don't get involved with pricing, we also should not be involved in the real estate agent's marketing strategy, but we can definitely be a part of it if they're open to that. So uh, hopefully this helps to um, give you some ideas for the next time that you're in this situation where the homeowner has hired you. Anytime a homeowner hires you, I always recommend reaching out to that real estate agent just to introduce yourself. Just say, hey, listen, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm working with your homeowner over here and I just wanted you to know who I am. Here's my contact information. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that we're doing with the house, I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, you know, you might be able to even be able to pick their brain a little bit and say, you know, listen, what's your demographic? Who do you think you're marketing towards? What's the price point? So show them that you respect them as that expert show them that their input is very important to you and very valid for this particular case. And uh, that'll show them that you are someone who's fantastic to work, work with on an ongoing basis. So uh, hopefully this helps. Again, uh, Shauna Lynn Simon for Ask the Experts through RISA. And thank you so much for asking your question. Mm -hmm.